but shortly. My Lord, sir, may I firstly acknowledge the noble lady's uh, work in this particular area and for bringing these issues to your Lordship's house. But I assure the noble lady in engagements directly with the Azerbaijani foreign minister most recently, um, the issues of uh, the return of all prisoners of war was raised again, as well as the remains of those who are deceased. And I assure the noble lady of my good offices and that of others within the FCDO to continue to do so, as well as our ambassador. On the wider issue, we continue to work with our key partners, including at the OSCE, to continue to call for calm, peace, de-escalation, and one hopes in time a restoration of relations between those two countries. The recent border clashes between Armenia and Azerbaijan highlight the urgent need to uh, accelerate the EU-led uh, peace and normalization process between <coughs> these two countries. Would the Minister agree with me that to achieve a sustainable solution to all the remaining issues and fully normalize the relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan, there need to be a comprehensive peace agreement in place. Furthermore, could the Minister also reaffirm the British Government's support to the EU-led mediation efforts between these two countries? Yeah. My, my Lords, I agree with the Noble Lord on both fronts, and of course, ultimately, we need a political settlement, and we're fully supportive of the EU as well as the OSCE. Negotiations are, of course, uh, key. Uh, equally, however, are solutions made more complicated uh, by the promotion of disharmony, particularly when the UK has no real leverage to bear on this particular quagmire, and by doing so uh, is counterintuitive, restricting the ability of Armenia to attract direct inward investment. My Lords, I don't agree with the Noble Lord on the UK's uh, position. I mean, we are active in our engagement with our EU partners, but we are also central to the efforts and supportive of what the OSCE is doing. In terms of stability and security, as I alluded to earlier, what we need is peace between those two countries, which will see the resumption of inward investment, boosting the economies for both Armenia and indeed for Azerbaijan as well. My Lords, could I end the government's efforts to de-escalate and certainly welcome their efforts working with the EU and the civilian mission that will be going there. But one of the advantages of the noble lord's longevity in post is that he will remember my repeated questions to him about Russian involvement in this area and what is the government's assessment about this and what are we doing to ensure that they don't provoke even more violence than what they're doing so at the moment. My, my lords, on the noble lord's first point, Time shall tell. Um, uh, but on the more substantive point of Russia's role, um, we've been very clear, and the noble lord, I appreciate his strong support of um, His Majesty's opposition for the position on Russia, and of course, Russia is playing a role, particularly in the uh, region um, and between those two countries. We have made no attempts to try and engage with Russia. We are very clear in this particular issue, whilst other partners do. The important role for Russia or anyone else mediating or indeed keeping the peace is to do exactly just that. My, lord, my lords, could I uh, endorse most strongly, most strongly what my noble friend said about Baroness Cox? And would he arrange for her to see and to brief our new Foreign Secretary? She has more knowledge of this subject than almost anyone else. She serves the whole House in what she does. Would he try and arrange for her to talk to the Foreign yeah, Secretary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Lords, first of all, when I look around your Lordship's house, that's probably a description of many within your Lordship's house. And um, um, the Foreign Secretary, I'm sure, will have a busy schedule if I arrange that kind of expert insight and briefing for him. But what I can assure is the Foreign Secretary will be fully aware of the noble lady's remarks, as I always ensure he is. And of course, we will look for opportunities how we can ensure there's a full briefing from the FCDO with those interested, and indeed for uh, colleagues in your Lordship's House to come into the FCDO to meet with other key ministers as well. My Lords, may I draw the noble minister's uh, attention to a very important humanitarian issue, the issue of explosive mines and mining maps for demining efforts in the Armenia-Azerbaijan normalization process and commend Her Majesty's Government 
for the financial assistance of £1 million for demining efforts in Azerbaijan. More exp most uh, mine explosions over the past two years have been caused by mines, obviously, and 260 civilian casualties have occurred in Azerbaijan. Clearly, this is a continuing human tragedy. And um, there are 3,890 missing Azerbaijanis, which uh, Armenia refuses to release any information. My question is... <laughs> I get there in the end. <laughs> My question, if, what if any discussions has His Majesty's government held with the government of Armenia about the release of fully accurate mine data to achieve cleaning of the uh, territories of Azerbaijan and further support? Um, what further support? Give me a chance. Is Her Majesty's government considering? I, I get the gist of the Noble Lord's question. I assure the Noble Lord that we are working with both governments, first of all, on the issue of the deceased. As I said to the Noble Lady Baroness Cox, this is an important issue to bring closure to those families who have lost loved ones in this respect, and we will continue to do so. On the issue of demine uh, demining, and I'm looking over to the Lib Dem, the Noble Lord Campbell is a great advocate for these issues in conflict zones, and I'm very proud of the UK Government's support for these activities. And may I pay tribute to key players in this particular sphere, such as the uh, HALO um, group as well, who do some phenomenal work on demining across the world. And of course, I'll take specifically what the Noble Lord suggests and make sure that our officials and indeed our ministers are briefed appropriately. My Lords, just before the pandemic, I chaired a, I participated in, just before the pandemic, I participated in dialogue sessions with young people from Armenia and Azerbaijan in Georgia. And, and will the minister ensure that any work of dialogue that is being conducted, which the UK is participating in, involves young people who have the biggest stake in any form of peace arrangement? I understand that in the recent political community meeting, of which it was glad, I was glad that the UK was represented, President Macron chaired a session with representatives from the two countries. Can the minister say whether any British officials were involved in any of those discussions, and if we are offering any technical assistance on the valid issues on human rights abuses, investigations, and on peaceful dialogue? What technical assistance is the UK offering? My Lord, three questions there, but in terms of the engagement directly of the UK Government, I will write to the Noble Lord on the issue of ensuring that we are giving technical assistance. I have already alluded to that, and of course we stand ready to support that. And as far as involving young people, well, we are celebrating the Prime Minister, who is one of the youngest in two, two centuries to now hold the number 10 office, so you can be assured that young people's views, or those who are slightly younger, will be fully sustained in all negotiations. My Lords, my Lords may I welcome the recent discussion held in Prague on October the 6th. Uh, and almost, uh, in, it is a fact that uh, the trilateral conference, trilateral ceasefire, ceasefire agreement, um, um, and the Azerbaijanis have not uh, been provided any details of 3,890 Azerbaijanis missing persons with uh, uh, families in turmoil for the last 30 years, my lords. Can Noble Lord the, tell, tell the House? What, the, what His Majesty's government, her, her Majesty's government, His Majesty's government, please forgive me, I've been too long now used to calling Her Majesty, Her Majesty, His Majesty's government, considering urging the government of Armenia to fully cooperate with Azerbaijani so these outstanding humanitarian crises are eradicated. My Lords, I believe I've already answered that question in part. We have said to both sides about the importance of not just the return of prisoners of war, but also the remains of those who have been deceased on either side. We will continue to make that point very poignantly. And I share with the noble lady the view families need closure, and it's important that we will continue to work on that key priority. Take a question, Lord John of Cookham. 